Inspirational skipper Paul Gallen will make his long-awaited return to the Sharks lineup this weekend after missing all but one match since round eight due to knee and foot injuries and a suspension. Cronulla will travel across the Tasman to take on a resurgent Warriors outfit on Saturday who have won seven of their last eight clashes. Coach Shane Flanagan says Gallen's timely arrival will ensure a good end to their season. Uh, hasn't played a lot for us this year. I think it's only nine games, so... Um, you know, less than half. So if we, uh, he's really confident in his injury at the moment, and you know we're really a lot better team with Gallin. It. 21-year-old winger Sasaya Feki is gearing up to face the club he won two Holden Cup Grand Finals with back in 2010 and 2011. And he'll be lining up against former NYC teammate Conrad Hurrell when he takes to Mount Smart Stadium. I know Fex. Really looking forward to it. You know. Um, Made first grade this year, made his debut, and you know going back over there, I'm sure he's got a point to prove. Um, but he's uh, definitely got a challenge over there as well. You know they've got Connor Darrell in the centres over there, and he's uh, you know hard to handle. So and Fecky played with him for a little, a few years there. So I think he's uh, going to enjoy that challenge. Fecky joined the Sharks in 2012, weighing 102 kilos. But after a tough training regime under Flanagan, the young gun now weighs 90 kilos and has scored five tries for the Sharks in 11 first grade games. Fecky says he's looking forward to putting on a show for his family back in Auckland. It was my weight. Um, I came in weighing 102 and the end of pre-season um, I, I ended up weighing 90 kgs and um, I feel stronger and fitter. It will be a nail-biting clash with both sides desperate for a win. The Sharks sitting at sixth on the ladder on equal points to the Raiders and the Warriors just two points behind at ninth. Kickoff is at 5pm New Zealand time or 3pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. Amy Lindsell, NRL News.